Hello, Taurus. I miss you guys. Happy weekend to you. It's Saturday. Happy holidays to you, Taurus. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Taurus, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus. For Taurus, highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus? currently doing on their soulmate journey. You are very intuitive, Taurus. You are very connected with the divine. You're not communicating with your soulmate. You feel very uh, guarded emotionally towards a lot of people. It's hard for you to trust people because you read people so well and you can tell when someone is fake with you. Yeah, it, it creates a lot of mistrust uh, for you because it's so easy for you to see when people lie to you, when they're trying to deceive you or use you. Yeah, this is you being very careful, cautious. You really don't trust anybody. Yeah, this is you being very guarded emotionally because you know uh, you read people correctly. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. You're dealing with very toxic bunch of people on a regular basis, unfortunately. Uh, they right next to you, and that's why you're so guarded. Whether it's, it's a group of people, so whether it's toxic relatives or toxic coworkers or any other situation that you have to deal with on a regular basis, and you are extremely guarded. You read them correctly. You know they are into drama, gossip, chaos. Yeah, self-serving energy. You have to be careful, though, because you are really stressed out because of this group of people. It's affecting your sleep. This is too much stress, anxiety in your life because of this group of people. So you're going to have to either find a way to get away from them or somehow deal with them better where it's not affecting your personal life. And this is you worrying too much, uh, having too much anxiety, stress to a point where you don't sleep well. When you do sleep, you wake up very tired, exhausted. You see this? This is you needing to deal better with this group of people. Accept them for who they truly are. And if you can't, you need to find a way to get away from them because they really will cause you some uh, health issues because you have too much stress. When we have prolonged stress, uh, that's what happens. It affects our health. So it's very important that mm, you really address this. Oh, for a lot of you, it's your family members. Uh, the four of wands is reversed, which is not good. Yeah. For a lot of you, it's in a family. And for a lot of you, it's at work. And for some of you, it's both. Toxic relatives and toxic coworkers. You see this? Yeah, this is you really need to address this. Universe, please show us. And this also means um, some kind of health issues that you're concerned about. Um some of you will have to have surgery or considering surgery. Um, hmm. This is you trying to recover from some kind of illness or sickness. <coughs> Sorry. And this would represent potential surgeon in your life. Universe, please show us. I just recently had surgery and it was really good for me. Yeah, I had no choice but to have it and really improved my life. Yeah, so sometimes surgery is absolutely necessary. Yes, you want it to be your last resort, but sometimes we have to have that surgery, right? Yeah, it could be life-saving. Yeah, it's so important to really look at your options very carefully before you make that decision, though. Uh, yeah, research, talk to your healthcare professional, Ask all the questions you can think of and educate yourself before you make that decision. Universe, please show us um, what's coming up for Taurus. You 
you view yourself as single at this time, meaning not in a relationship with your soulmate. Yeah, you are very independent. Yeah, you are not in a relationship. Yeah, this is you uh, concentrating on your money, finances, business, making wise financial decisions for yourself moving forward. Yeah, you work uh, and deal with some toxic people. Here we see um, demonic wings and a snake, deceit, uh, wicked energy and human head, which means that one of the people in this group of people, one of them in particular is very fake with you. Yeah, more than the rest of them put together. So they pretend in your face, they wish you best, that they're smiling at you, they're your friend, they're not. And for some of you, it's a family member. Yeah, so for some of you, it's a family situation. For some of you, it's at your job. Yeah, this is you trying. You're going to have to make some kind of decision. You yourself will have to make that decision, whether you stick around these people and try to see if you can work better with them or if you need to let them go completely and just walk away. Yeah. Yeah, these people are setting you back financially, which is not good. They are setting you back financially, these people. Yeah, with the toxic behavior. Yeah. Wow, this is you loving yourself, concentrating on yourself. Your soulmate misses you a lot because they love you. Yeah, but they need to show you that love, right? You don't feel loved by them because if you truly felt loved by them, you would be with them, not away from them, right? They miss you a lot. This is them missing you, loving you from a distance. Yeah, so you already see who is fake with you and who is authentic. You see very clearly. It looks like you tried to cut them out of your life for good, these people, this group of people, but you weren't totally successful. It's like you have to deal with them on a regular basis, unfortunately, whether it's relatives or at work. Yeah, look how tired you feel, exhausted. So there's something going on where you feel sick, low on energy or depressed or all of the above that you're going to have to handle uh, to help yourself feel better, restore your health, so to speak, whether it's emotional health or physical health or both. Yeah, you really need to pay attention yeah, to how you feel. Universe, please show us. Life is very stressful for everybody. Yeah. So you need, we need to handle that stress on a regular basis. Stay away from toxic people. Um, uh, meditate on a regular basis. Exercise. Uh, spend time in nature. Do yoga. If some of you like yoga, that would be awesome. Or any form of exercise, whether it's bicycling, whatever. Yeah, universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus. Something is going to make you happy. You're going to be celebrating something with... Um, th so this means gathering together with people who make you laugh, who make you happy, who you like spending time with. So don't isolate yourself at home. Stick around people who have your back, who are authentic in your life, who were able to prove themselves to you. Wow, love is showing up here for you. You're going to be meeting a new person of quality through some kind of social gatherings, parties, outings, celebrations mutual friends and acquaintances you're gonna feel love connection with someone of quality financial abundance showing up here for you you see once you leave the toxic people behind everything improves your attitude will improve your mood will improve your emotional state will improve your finances will improve you see what happens when we let go of toxic people toxic relationships Everything improves and it's replaced with positive energy and positive people. Yeah, you need to let these people go because they're going to try to stick around. You see this? They are fighting, arguing with each other, gossiping. You see this? And with demonic wings. You see this? That's not a good sign. So you need to find a way either to deal better with this group of people. If you can't completely walk away from them. Or completely walk from, from away from them that's what i would do yeah i walked away completely from all toxic relatives 21 years ago i haven't seen any of them or spoken to them in 21 years yeah yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be 22 years almost yeah yeah i mean business when i got somebody out it's a done deal there's no coming back <laughs> doesn't matter who they are yeah, I don't want toxicity in my life. No, no, no. It's a big headache. 
You know, Michelle was, what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus that Taurus has been dealing with? And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with, oh, this one wants to be extra. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus? And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? Oh, they realized they lost you. They didn't show you appreciation. They didn't realize how important you were. Now they see you are an empress, but they view as reversed empress, which means they lost you. Yeah, they realize you're not chasing them. Yeah, they want to find balance to prove themselves to you. But the question is, will they? You see, this person is very cold emotionally towards you, detached. And as a result, you are detached and careful because you don't think you can open up emotionally to them because they didn't receive you in an, with open arms emotionally. They love you a lot. So this person you've been dealing with that you're letting go of at this particular time is in love with you, but they have funny way of showing it. They don't really verbalize it. They don't really show it. They didn't make you feel loved. If they did, you would be with them, right? This person is in love with you though. They just realize now how much you mean to them emotionally, but they need to learn how to communicate effectively, how to express emotions and how to listen, right? Wow, all of a sudden now they want to put work into this, but will they? It's good that they have good intentions, but those intentions have to be met with action, right? They can just intend to do it and not do it and think this is good enough. No, they need to prove themselves to you through consistent actions, being consistent in your life, direct, honest, right? They're very nervous because all these cards are falling down. It was to show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus and how's that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally. You see, they realize it's the end, death, the end. They realize they can't come back to you with the same behavior. You're not going to allow it. No, you're not chasing this person. You're not reaching out to them. Yeah, this is them trying to figure out if it's not too late, how to reach out to you. You see these swords? One, two, three, divided between two cards. This person is absolutely devastated, heartbroken over losing you. But if you were to look at them from the outside, you would think they're doing just fine, that they don't miss you. No, it's quite the opposite. But they hide their emotions really well. They, they feel them deeply, just like everybody else does, but they're very good at hiding them. Yeah. Look how scared they are. Some of you block them. Look how scared they are um, of judgment from you and rejection by you. Yeah, they're concerned that if they wait too long, you're going to be with somebody else because you are of high quality, available, independent, strong-willed, of value, quality. Yeah, they've been waiting to see if you cool off, reach out to them first. They realize you're not doing it. They're going to have to chase you. You see, you had valid reasons to walk away from them. Devil energy is popping up here. You see this? You had valid reasons. You had very valid reasons to walk away. Yeah, you did. They realize that now. Uh, yeah, they realize that you, you're not going to put up with this kind of behavior. They see very clearly, thanks to you, Taurus, you definitely are the catalyst in their life. You open up their heart chakra that nobody else was able to do. They see very clearly what they need to do cor to correct this. But the question is, will they? Will they do it? That's the real question. Oh, look how unhappy they are without you. Look at all those swords in the back and the expression on their face. Those are self-inflicted. You see, look how unhappy they are with the decisions they've made in their life and the fact that they lost you. So nobody is perfect. We all make mistakes, but the good thing is this person sees very clearly that their actions drove you away from them. Yeah, that they need to drastically change their behavior, adjust things in order to be happy and be able to have you back in their life. Yeah, you see this? They see very clearly what they need to do, that you had valid reasons to let them go. Yeah, you did have valid reasons. Yes, you did. You know, there is some addiction showing up here with that devil energy. Universe, please show us. Hmm. Um, what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus? And how's that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? 
Yeah, this person can be ego driven. They make major decisions with their ego. That's a big mistake. When people make decisions with their ego, they make huge mistakes. So this person realizes that this persona of emperor that they pretend to be is really their downfall. Their ego is their downfall. Look how unhappy they are with the decisions that they've made and that they lost to. Look how heartbroken, devastated they feel. And um, But they're very good at covering everything, pretending that everything is fine, that they are not affected emotionally when they are big time, but they're very good at hiding it. This is them feeling a lot of guilt and regret for losing you. Yeah, you see? Look at this. That emperor persona is falling apart. You see the tower. They realize this is the wake-up call, root awakening, epiphany they have, that this is not the way to live their life because they're not happy. Yeah. See, now they want to get to work and do things differently, change things. The question is, will they? Taurus, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmate popping up in your life that showed up as three of cups and two of cups. Beautiful energy. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask, what are they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the two of cups, three of cups energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Taurus, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.